It's the payday lender that preys on vulnerable Aussies, charging 1,000% interest on loans. Now, Signo is accused of taking money from customers years after they've paid off their debts. How can I afford to live for myself and now feed a child for them to take money from me? It's the payday lender allegedly skirting the law and taking advantage of customers, all the while it rakes in millions. All of a sudden they're just taking money. Rebecca Mangum borrowed $200 from Signo Loans in 2020. About two weeks later, they started taking more than what they needed to from me. At the time, she contacted a current affair along with other disgruntled customers who claim they were charged up to 1,000% on their loans. And I got that resolved. I got my money back. They left me alone. I went overseas for two years. But at the end of January this year, Rebecca says Signo started to debit her account. She has no clue why they're taking her money and can't get on to anyone to find out. Yesterday, they've taken more money from me, so my bank's now minus $133. The lender once again in hot water for providing credit without a licence. ASIC currently suing Signo Australia Proprietary Limited and its director, former rugby union player Mark Swanepoel. ASIC Deputy Chair Sarah Court. We're concerned because we think these are models designed to get around the consumer protection that are there in the credit laws. It's not the first time ASIC has been forced to act. In 2019, it issued a stop order. Signo then changed its operating model to work around the terms of the order. ASIC then took further action, the federal court finding the company, along with lender BHF Solutions Proprietary Limited, had engaged in credit activities without holding a credit licence. Now ASIC has started civil penalty proceedings for the same actions, alleging Signo organised loans worth $34 million while pulling in $70 million worth of fees. ASIC contends that those fees in charges are against the law. Signo director Mark Swanepoel is currently trying to offload his million dollar Gold Coast hinterland property. ASIC also wants him banned from any credit related business. You know, our concern is that this is the second time we've been in court and we've had multiple engagements uh, along the way. Matthew is embarrassed he needed to turn to Signo for a loan when he lost his job during COVID. I had a few financial difficulties um, during that period. Matthew borrowed $175. Within weeks, Signo claimed he owed $1,200. It was a lot of overwhelming stress during that time. Matthew says he made the payments and tried to put it all behind him. That was until December when he says Signo contacted him, claiming he'd never made a payment. It wasn't until he threatened legal action and contacted a current affair, the company said his debt was settled. I really hope that one day the owners or the people involved in this company look back at themselves and be completely ashamed. We will continue to take these actions going forward if these lending models continue to arise.